What's up, everybody? We are back in this game. We back in this game. We back in the scene. It is. I am here. Yep. I'm Juju Juwan. Yes. This is my brother. That's good. What's your name? Jalen. Jalen. All the social media stuff will be somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Somewhere down there. Over there. Maybe in the description. Who knows? Where we'll see how lazy I am. Yeah. All right. So anyway, so you already know what it is when you see him. It is time to talk about some good old music. Always. Always. 2020 has been the year of music. Everybody dropped the album and a mama. Yeah, for sure. But was it good music? Did it make the cut? Did it make Did it make any sense? We're gonna open this wine up real quick. We're gonna get a little light in here. We're gonna one more light. No, 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 no. All right. Anyway, so uh, so you know, y'all know the game. High low. So. It'll get the album of the year. So we're gonna name some albums. Like let's say we talked about Sugar last time. We're still gonna get a high, a five and up, or a low, a four and under. All right. So if you get a low, that means your album was not good at all. <laughs> if you get a high, that means it's okay. Like five is man, six is in, seven and up is it was good, good work, good work. Everybody know ten is was it, that was the album. That, that was the album. Yeah. So we're explaining the game. Yeah. High low. Let's get into it. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. All that good stuff. So let's Hit get that button. Video. Let's do it. Let's get it. All right. So we're going to start with number one. So let's do this. Number one. So Help Me God, Two Chains. His recent album that just dropped last month. Yep. Um... I'm going to give Two Chains is my favorite rapper. If anybody does not know, it is. I'm going to give Two Chains a six. Oh, uh, it's not like you. It's not like me. But this album was not. It was the timing of the album. It wasn't his season at all. Mm -hmm. I think he should have waited till next year because he was dropping. His singles were bad. Honestly, I'm be as a true fan. His singles were not good. Like no TV with and all that. You know what that is. And it is. It's just. It wasn't all that. So I think Two Chains, their album, it was good, but it wasn't like, hmm. He just dropped it. Like he said, it was just something to do. So I don't like that. But <laughs> yeah. I love you too. Okay. Uh, I mean, I was going to at least say seven. Okay. Just because it's Two Chains and his beats are always good. And yeah. No matter if the song is bad, Two Chains are always talking about something. He is delivering. And it's always something that you don't understand. And you always have to go back and re-listen to it. And you like... Oh, yeah, that's what he was trying to say, or oh, that's what he meant. I so, I just think yeah. that it just wasn't. I don't know. It wasn't well, hard it wasn't enough, I guess. Yeah, it wasn't hard it wasn't enough. Hard enough chains. I I like the album. Don't get me wrong. Sark's Finish was good, and it wasn't long. Yeah, Titty but, Boy. Yeah, Titty Boy to uh, Tony. So we yeah. love you. All right, next number two, Lil Bo three, Lil Yai. I'm gonna let you go first. Little boat, little boat. <laughs> that oh, okay. I'm gonna say an eight because that album got some hard bops on it, and the beats on that album is amazing. Demon Time is amazing. Uh, what is it? Split the whole time is amazing. Then what's the one with Tyler on it? TD. T yeah, TD. That song is amazing. Like that beat is all it's, it's amazing. So I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say eight, but the rest of that album wasn't all that great to me. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't all that great. So um <laughs> I listened to a little bit after you showed me the, the song. Yeah. Uh, I like Can't Go, I think that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. And um You give it an eight, I give it a six too. Okay. Because it was definitely that Oprah song with Drake and yeah, I hate that song. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the video was so funny. Don't get me wrong; he's mad creative. He just—I yeah. don't think that was a good one. So six, eight. There it is. I mean, y'all still high, still high, right? Yeah, still, still high. high. We, we, high. we haven't right. caught a bad one yet. Not yet. All right. Oh, okay. I don't know if you know about this, so let's skip it. All right. What about the baby? Blame it on baby. I give this one a three, <laughs> a low three, like maybe B low three. I don't understand this album. It's horrible. Yeah. That one was horrible. Like, Kurt was great. Yeah. Was, was Kurt released last year? I think so. Had to be. That's the problem. That was the problem. You should have did back-to-back -back albums. Yeah. But, uh, three. Uh, I'll, I'm, I'm right there with you. So, yeah. It's low. It's sure. low. low three. I'm very disappointed. I'm used to this by now. <laughs> like, he hard. 
But I don't know. Sometimes his al his albums just don't be that good. Like his singles and his hits be hard. His features are okay. You know what I'm saying? His features be good too. Yeah. Anytime the baby on a feature, you know it's a good song. But no, nah, that album. As far as a body of work, this is me. I I listened to the album when it came out, and then because I like the album cover. I'm not gonna lie, album cover is nice. Yeah. But I listened to it and I was like, this is the same song. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not. Mm -hmm. So sorry, baby. Get a little. <sighs> Next. We have Lil Uzi Vert, Eternal Take. Now, I love Uzi. I see him live. He's very short, but he's very hype. But I'm going to give him a four. Are you okay today? I'm going to give him a four. You all right? He had, like, the beginning of the album was great. No, like, first five. I give it, like, Okay, eight. I feel But okay. then the bottom half of the album, I was like, I got lost. And then there was a deluxe. And then the deluxe <laughs> was even longer. I was like, oh, my God. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Where are you taking me? Yeah. Uh, I'm, okay, actually, I'm giving him a five. I'm giving him an in between because the album was good. Like, first, like I said, the first album was good. Like, mm -hmm. intro, uh, the album was good, but it just it was too long and then it was too repetitive. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Five. Even, even I'm, I'm, I'm going to say a seven because the album was hard. Uzi is always, Uzi always dropped good albums. Okay. They may not ever be like great, probably like how his first album was, mm -hmm. but this one was, this one was up there. It was, it was pretty good. It wasn't, you know, it was, it was the best. Let's right? say it was pretty good. It wasn't like, oh, it was just, so I give you a five, I give you a five, I give you a break. All right, moving on yep. to 21 Savage and Metro Boom and Savage Mode Oh two. my God, no. <laughs> <laughs> bro. What do you give it? No, bro. What do you that give whole it? got two good songs on it. Yeah. Yeah, no. The whole. What do you. That, like a two, maybe. A low of a two. It's not that good. It's not. I heard, I listened to. uh, What's the narrator do his name? Uh, Morgan Freeman. I listened to Morgan Freeman talk. Mm -hmm. And then the next song came. The Snitches and, and Rats? Yeah, and then okay. Running came on. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I was not entertained. Um, so you know, I try to listen to the song. I love Young Thug. He had a song with Young Thug on there. Mm -hmm. It was okay. It wasn't all that. Thugger. Um, but I give it. I give it a two. Right. I give it a little two. Mm -hmm. It was very. Uh, he just sounded like he was bored. Like he just went to the studio. and was like, all right, y'all, let's just do this. probably so. Running, running. Run <laughs> it was. It wasn't. That good. It wasn't what we needed from Twenty One. So. Sorry, 20. Let's go to Bryson Tiller anniversary. Hey, man. What you got? What you got? What you got to say? You said it's the year of music, and ain't hey, nobody got a good rating out of you yet. They got some. Barely. We got people on the list. <laughs> Two chains, five lines. Okay, I'm honestly going to give Bryson a six. Okay. I'm giving Bryson a six because the album was long awaited, mm -hmm. but it didn't hit like it should have for me. Right. It didn't hit like at all. But I like his, the first three songs was like legit, legit. So I gave it a six. Okay, so shout out to my twin, Bryson Tiller. <laughs> That's my, my reason why. My guy, always deliver. You know what I'm saying? We talking, we talking to eight. It, was, it wasn't either one of his first two albums, like at all, mm -hmm. but it was it was still good enough. Yes, did it take forever? Was it long yes. overdue? Yes. Very long overdue. But I mean, that's that's Bryson Tiller. He that type of guy. So I can't even be mad at him. Okay, so six and eight. Yes, and so eight. he's high. So yeah, he's high. He barely made it. But you owe the days, right? <laughs> but this one, this is a high for me. This is a ten. This one's a ten. I bet you I could guess. You won't. Shoot for the stars, aim for the moon, pop smoke. That album was a 10 for me because yeah. that album was hard. Like, I, I was going to give it a 9. Okay, so yeah. uh, I, I gave it a 10 because it wasn't the same. Like, his flow was different. Yeah. He went to the spoil. He went up. You know, his features were different. Yeah. You know, don't, you can't get 50 cents on nobody, y'all, nowadays. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, yeah. go ahead. I mean, hey, same, uh, same things you say. Yeah. The album was just, it was really well put together. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, sadly, it had to be. His last body of work that we'll get from him fully, yeah. but I mean it was still a great album. He you know pop hard all the way through. Yeah, you know so he he can go aggressive. He can be loving at the same time, but still with that you know that thug, thug, thug in him. You know yeah. so you gonna feel him. 
So that was a good album. Shout out to Pop. Shout out to R.I.P. First piece, Pop. Um, let's move on to one of your girls. Uh oh, Janae Aiko, okay. Chalambo. I'm gonna let you go first. I'm gonna say like a seven. The album was too damn long. Okay, I was gonna say that. it was like it was like twenty some songs. So yeah, yeah it, was, it was wrong. And again, I love Janae. I think she probably one of the top. She top three R and B singers right now. Period. Mm -hmm. Soul, whatever you want to call her, mm -hmm. but. It was just, that's too long, bro. I don't, nowadays, it's, I don't want to listen to an hour and 45 yes. minute album no more. That's a long time. I stayed in class that long. That, the album was very long. Very long. I would say, I'm going to give it an eight. I'm going to give it an eight okay. because it was, it was good. She had some good songs on there. No, of course. I do think she had too many features. But uh, but at the end of the day, they were good features. They weren't like wasted, you know. Okay. So I I messed with that album. It was good. Mm -hmm. It was long, but it was good. Eight, eight, eight. eight. Okay. All right. Uh, while we on female, let's go to Kalani. It was good until it wasn't. Um, I'm gonna give it a three because I'm still mad at you about the Kyrie. Why are you mad? <laughs> like, let's play. I'm playing. No, I, I do. I did give it a five though. It wasn't all that. It was okay. That's all I have to say about it. Uh, I'm gonna say six. I think. I don't think it was fully all of that, but I mm -hmm. think it was. I think it was a good body of work, and it was great. You know, and I'll give you a ten, Kaylani, if you see this video and you know DM me about it. So, because I love you so much, you have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. All right. Okay. Nobody cares. Whatever. All right. We're going to go to, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right. This person, everybody has been like real in uproar about this. Okay. Little baby's my turn. They feel like he's not getting enough accolades yeah. for this album. So I'm going to let you rate it. What do you think? It's a 10. It's a 10? It's a 10. 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10. Little baby, right. little baby heart. He should definitely. Little baby, he, yeah. he should have been up for rap album of the year at least. At least, yes. At I will least. say that. It, it was, it was tough. Now, do I think he would have won? No, because I think there's an album that is past the ten out of ten. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no. Shout out to little baby. That album is hard. You delivered. Your features was again. His features, features were good. good. Your album was good. Forty two, forty two, and was gun on there. Of course, probably. yeah. I, I I give it a nine. It was good. I'm not gonna lie, and I don't even like rap like that. Like yeah. I'm not big on it, but like, like it's crazy because like I know like it. almost every song. Yeah, they come on and come like yeah. yeah. I, I know know baby, it's hard. crazy. So I'm not really a chat kind of person, but baby got it. You get ten. My turn. You get a ten. You get nine. It's a high rate. That's one of the highest we got so far. That is the highest rate we have so far. All right. Um. Let's talk about this dude. <laughs> Ty Dolla Sign featuring Ty Dolla Sign. First of all, you had more features than Ty Dolla Sign. I don't even know if he was on the album, the individual album. Did you hear it? I didn't want to. No offense, but it's, it's, I enjoy Ty Dolla Signs for features only. Yes. Yeah. I enjoy, I enjoy to hear your amazing voice in the background. Um, I gave him a four on the album just because it was just like, where are you at? This is your turn to shine. Like, you have literally every artist on the album. So, you can get nothing out of him because he didn't even listen. Bingo. Um, you know, yeah. Is that the trash album of the day? It might be. It might be. Okay, let's see. All right, moving on, we're going to go to Hall. Oh, why is you here? Flo Millie shit. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Yeah. 10. Out of ten, yo, hey, yo. I just want everybody to know, Flo Millie harder than a lot of these female rappers that get a lot of attention. She harder than a lot of these dude rappers that get attention. That album start off hard and in the same way. Yeah, it's a yeah. ten. I'm a, I'm a, I'm with you. It's a ten. It's a ten. These niggas weak. weak. Like like the whole the beats. Let's talk about the production. Oh, the production of Lord. the album is crazy. She's so tough on that album. Her beats are out of this world. And then her flow is stupid. 
Yeah. And the party still got the hardest line ever to start off a song. Gates up. One step, step in the party. What? What you say? She. She. What? So her, how old is she? Like 20 now? She's 20 now, yeah. Gotta be she, 20. Her pen is strong. I ain't gonna lie. Her pen is strong. She her be, pen is strong. She her pen is strong. Be right. She. So, yeah. Yeah, let's go with a 10 10. Let's go near the yeah. She don't get a lot of hype. She should be up for the one. She don't. She is hard. Is that her debut album too? Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Period. That was good. All right, speaking of female rap. Let's go ahead and go to Megan Thee Stallion. Oh, good Lord. news. I'm gonna let you go first. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna give I'm gonna give her an eight, mm -hmm. but I'm mostly it's high because of one, just the first song. Like I respect you for coming out hard like that. Like that's what's up. Mm -hmm. Definitely with the Biggie beat, and that's one of my favorite rappers. And you came on that and then delivered. You know, AF. F Tory Lanez, you know, won't mess with Tory Lanez no more. Never, ever again. Never again. So shout out to you, Meg. You know, beautiful, strong black women and shit. Uh, I give the album an eight Very as good. well. Um, it's the problem is this album isn't Tina Snow, and Tina Snow is stupid. Like, right. Tina Snow was spitting. Tina Snow slowed it down and spit, mm -hmm. but she was spitting on this album. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, you, you were spitting on this album. Is she a Gemini? Or uh, she just got, she just like to have multiple, per, multiple personalities. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think she's Gemini, but she's like, yeah, to the big ego though. Gotcha. Yeah, but no, nah, uh, not gonna lie, the album was good. Mm -hmm. It had like one, sk couple skips, but you know, it was good. It didn't have, it didn't have too many songs in there. He was mm -hmm. smart for putting Beyonce on that. You know, I, I respect mean, that. I have a song with Beyonce. It's probably going on, on the album. I thought it'd be three years ago. I'm still putting it on the new album. <laughs> Make my album number one. Yeah, no, for sure. So yeah, I respect that. So eight. 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 That's good. That's good. For All right. Albums, they put like top 20. And number 13 was the City Girl, City on Lock. Did you hear that? I did. You know I love uh, Young Miami. <laughs> my little hood, hood self. Is Young Miami? What do you rate, what do you rate them? I, I'm a, honestly, I'm going to give them an eight because even though their album wasn't even finished and they had to put it out because it got leaked. Yeah. But that hope's still hard. Yeah. So it was NJT. Everybody know JT run. Run a track. Everybody want to JT Aiden. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I give I give him an eight. So shout out to City Girls. Shout out to City Girls. I give him an eight too. I'm okay. with I'm with it. But you have to listen to Freddie. Gibbs. I'll listen to Freddie Gibbs and then we'll we'll pray make that he you, wins his, make his you first. Wanna, it make you want to sell crack. Wow. Literally, like it make you want to go and be like, you know what. This is what I want to do. I, I can, want to change my life. I can do it. Type type feel. Especially if I was wrong for anything. So anyway, yeah. anyway, we're going to move on. All right. So that was the game of high and low. So the trash album of the day. It's definitely Ty Dolla Sign. Was Ty Dolla Sign featuring Ty Dolla Sign. <laughs> and then the album of the year from our listings mm -hmm. was Flo Millie. Ho, why did you fear? Hey, so shout out to Floyd Millie. Um, thank you for coming in. Hey, man. Hey, hey, thank you for, for having me. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be a one go around this year, but I mean everybody. Yeah. Top part of the year. Dropped. January through what? June, July? June. Yeah. All right. And then after that. Was... And Cole, you only got like twenty some days left to drop that album. He will drop it this year? He said twenty twenty. So but we know you. We'll get that twenty twenty three, but we'll wait. We'll wait, and we'll wait. We will wait. And Frank Ocean, if you are going to drop something, I want you to think about it. And I want you to stay in the studio and drop it. I mean, I want you to come out like you came out saying you were gay. That's how hard I want it to hit. Anyway, appreciate y'all for listening. Hi, low. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, follow my brother on everything, follow me on everything, and we'll see y'all next week. Remember, it's dropout season. Yep. Um, it's the part where I can be most of because I, I'm trying to drop out. <laughs> and I only do that if you guys help me. We almost there. So I just need you to blow it up so I can drop out. Please, you know? So please, uh, please. you blow up, I drop out. That's how it works. All right, so we'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching.